Oh, tell me. Hi, everyone. I'm Heather Vanna with Avnet, and I'm here for a very exciting live beta activation at the Life is Beautiful Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada. In partnership with Non Impossible Labs, Avnet is debuting a first of its kind technology experience at a private concert here at Life is Beautiful. We're debuting a technology called Music Not Impossible, and it's inspired by the deaf community, and it's intended to enable anyone to experience music through sophisticated vibration technology. I'm here with Eric Van Stralen, the lead Avnet engineer on the project, who helped bring this exciting technology to life. So Eric, can you tell me about your role at Avnet? So I'm an engineering project manager, uh, also doing business development for engineering services, and as you can tell, we're at a concert here, so good music. <laughs> So, Eric, what was your reaction when you first heard about the fact that you'd be working on a product to bring music to the deaf community and to the hearing community through vibration? Yeah, so this was a really special product um, and project. Uh, and in fact, in envisioning the project, the, pro the end product uh, throughout the process has been a challenge because there's so many options, uh, but primarily driven by uh, helping the deaf and hard and hearing, hearing community um, really has made a difference in, uh, in not only my excitement, but also the excitement of the entire team that we put together. So i guessing you've tested the product out yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we've, uh, we've been working hard on it for many months, uh, and we've ramped up quickly. So we don't have a ton of experience with it, but we know it's, it's very exciting, and it's turned out uh, pretty much exactly the way we want it. So we're really excited about it. So what does it feel like to use the product right now? Yeah, when you first hit you, you're... You jump, and then uh, it's just amazing to to kind of feel that music and have it accentuate the uh, and add to the experience of the concert, uh, which is what we're, was our goal uh, beyond, um, of course, communicating that information, that music information, which is our core requirements uh, to the uh, to the deaf and hard of hearing. So it's a wearable product, and if I'm understanding it correctly, it consists of pretty much five different parts, right? Yeah. And so there's someone essentially behind the scenes mixing the music. Tell me, tell me about that, and why, why did you build that in the product? Yeah, so first of all, since it's five devices, two wrists, two ankles, and a, and a vest, uh, it's actually five wearables, which was uh, a realization that hit us um, early in the design that it wasn't just a wearable, it was five wearables, and doing wearable technology with uh, electronics and wires is a challenge in the first place. Doing it for five different locations on the body independently was, uh, was, was a real treat because uh, we love challenges. And, um, and so we actually uh, have a, uh, the audio coming out, channelized audio coming off of the, uh, the uh, band into uh, an audio mixer and then through uh, custom audio to vibration software uh, that uh, that actually has level controls and also positional controls on the on the users and translational uh, from not just the audio the pure audio frequencies and intensities but we actually morph that into what feels good to the user from a vibration standpoint and there's a there's there's quite a few tricks there to make sure that 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 translation is really uh, um, done well for the user experience. That sounds really cool and really exciting. I know there are a lot of folks lined up to experience the product firsthand tonight, including lots of folks from the deaf community and the hearing community. So Eric, I know you've been an engineer for a long time and you've worked on a lot of really complex projects, but have you ever been able to participate in a live beta activation yourself and really see technology that you've just created get into the hands of people for the first time? Um, not the general public like this yet at volume at scale so we've uh, we've gone to scale because you kind of really need to experience this as a concert goer so doing five or ten units uh, was was not good enough and so we scaled to 220 units uh, pretty quickly actually right away and uh, that was a challenge uh, a particular challenge for the product as well which was super exciting and then of course being here today and being able to witness uh, that many people uh, tonight uh, experience it, and uh, it's it's just super exciting. It's it's almost we kind of related to almost the invention of a of a new um, musical instrument because it's it's actually tuned and and actually even our, our mixer and our software really uh, relate to the uh, to the end user just like someone playing the guitar or other. So yeah, we're really excited. So are you trying to tell me that we're making history here tonight at the Life is Beautiful Music Festival with Avnet and Non-Impossible Lab? Yeah, I believe so. I, I really do. Um, you know, I think that what we'll see is, is uh, obviously an evolving uh, product like this, an expansion over time. Um, 
as as we saw with the electric guitar or electric keyboards, uh, bass, etc. So there's going to be a, a lot of a lot of uh, future um, for this type of product. We're excited. Absolutely. So last question for you, Eric, before we let you get back to work. Right. What are you most excited about tonight? Uh, you know, just just seeing those first reactions of, of the audience and really feeling that and feeling the power and sustaining that through the uh, through the whole concert. And, um, you know, just really, you know, as an engineer, getting that feedback and uh, and just understanding because we we really believe we're going to reach a large level and, and it's going to be our our understanding of how we can make it even better as we move forward but but we think we're we're, we're right there it's going to be a great time we can't wait to find out who the band is we've heard it's really really uh, an exciting big band um so tune in everyone on the avnet page tonight and you'll get to see who we're going to watch tonight and start to hear from some of the attendees themselves both from the deaf community and the hearing community as we unveil this groundbreaking technology music not impossible for the very first time at life is beautiful here in las vegas See y'all soon.